When were you born? I was born in uh, 1983. Number two. What day did you come into this world? My birthday is uh, on the 24th of August. Number three. At what age did you start to crawl? I can't remember exactly. I suppose I was about uh, 8 or 10 months old. Number four. At what age did you learn to walk? When I was one year and a half, I suppose. Number five. Why were you grounded as a child? Mm, oh, I was a rebellious child. I misbehaved a lot and refused to obey, so that's why I was grounded as a child. Number six. What did your parents do when you misbehaved? Mm, they grounded me, didn't let me go for a walk with my friends and uh, I remember once my mom uh, used the belt to punish me when uh, she found out that uh, we tried out smoking with my classmates. Number seven, what age throws the most tantrums? Number eight. Mm, teenage years when children want to uh, show their independence and stand up for their rights. Why do kids want to grow up? Mm, because they want to uh, make their own decisions, they want to be independent and they think they are mature enough to do uh, what they want. Number nine. What do you think is the hardest part about raising a child? No. I don't know, it's a difficult question for me, because nothing beats being a mother and uh, um, your life is full of happiness. Of course, sometimes uh, it can be hard, you may need help, uh, especially if you uh, have to bring up your child alone, if you are divorced, for example. I don't know. Number 10. Who do you know that is adopted? I don't know anyone who is adopted. Number 11. At what age did you go to daycare? Number 12. At what age did you go to kindergarten? I didn't go to daycare and I didn't go to the kindergarten. I stayed at home with my grandparents. Number 13. What college did you go to? No. Mm, I went to a pedagogical college in Krasnoyarsk. Number 14. What was the best moment of your teenage years? Mm, the best moment. Actually, it was a hard time for me because my parents got divorced when I was 13. But I can remember um, one thing. We went to a sports camp with my uh, volleyball team and uh, it was the first time I went somewhere alone and, you know, uh, there it was my first disco and... Uh, we stayed up late and uh, it was great. Number 15. Who do you hang out with the most? Mm, I don't hang out uh, very often. Maybe once or twice a year we can play the field. Uh, usually it's somebody's birthday or a holiday, something like New Year maybe. Um, last time I hanged out with my friends. It was a school reunion party and I think it was the dress rehearsal because next year it is uh, 20 years uh, uh, after graduating from school. Number 16. What high school did you graduate from? I graduated from the school number two with uh, foreign languages bias. Number 17. How did you get your first job? My first job, um, when I was studying at college, I had to work to earn some pocket money and uh, I used to work in a nightclub at the weekends as a waitress. Number 18. How much is it to rent an apartment in your city? Um, about um, 15,000 rubles. I think several years ago we rented an apartment because we didn't have our own one and we paid 15,000 rubles for a two-roomed flat. Number 19. When was the last time you dated somebody? 
for the last 10 years I've been dating with my husband. Once a week we usually go out somewhere uh, for lunch or uh, to the cinema, to the theater, it depends. Number 20. Who was the first person you fell in love with? Number mm, I don't twist the knife in the wood. Uh, there was one person I was madly in love with uh, when I was uh, 18, but unfortunately we broke up. 21. When do you think it's acceptable to get engaged? Mm, when? When you are in love with and decide to settle down and start a family. Number 22. When do you think it's acceptable to get married to somebody? Mm. The best time, I think, when you graduated from uh, university and have a good job uh, to provide for your family, uh, to raise the kids. Number 23. At what age would you like to start a family? I started a family when I was 21. Number 24. Would you rather settle down or explore right now? Number. Mm, I have already settled down. But I don't think that uh, family uh, will tie you up so you can explore together and enjoy the life. 25. How long is a woman pregnant for? No. Mm, for nine months. For 26. How many kids did your mother have to look after? Mm, two kids. Uh, I have a younger brother. He is just one year and seven months younger than me. So I think uh, it was hard time for my mom to look after uh, us. Number 27. Why do some couples get divorced? Hmm. Different situations, different reasons. Uh, people have disagreement, can't uh, put up with some things uh, and can't uh, get over the problems that they face. Uh, so, and just like that, it's the last uh, drop which overflowed the cup and they can't see a way out and get divorced. Number 28. What is the reason a parent would kick their child out of the house? Mm, it's a strange question for me. I can't imagine a reason uh, that uh, make parents kick their child out of the house because we are supposed to support our children and do our best to provide for them, to help them, to cheer them up. I don't know. Number 29. Why do some couples get remarried? Because mm, they want to be happy to start a new life. Uh, if you find a perfect match, why not? Number 30. When did you have the time of your life? Mm. Right now, I'm in my prime, still young, and independent on money, and can enjoy every single day. Number 31. Why do citizens join the army? Mm. Every man must uh, join the army when he uh, turns 18 and as he enters the university. Why? Mm. It's just the rule uh, to be able to protect our country in case... Uh, of war, I don't know. Number 32. How do you think soldiers feel when they return from the army? Hmm. Mm, it's better to ask my husband. He's never tired of telling me the stories from that time. But uh, he says that uh, he just uh, lost a couple of years of his life. Number 33. What do you have a hard time doing? Mm, it was a hard time uh, for me getting used to my parents' divorce. Number 34. At what age would you like to buy a house? I have never wanted to buy a house. Uh, we came into an apartment after my grandparents passed away. And now uh, we uh, are going to buy an apartment for our daughter or at least help her somehow when she uh, wants to um, start living apart from us. Number 35. If you could move to another country, which one would it be? 
I wouldn't like to move uh, to another country. Uh, traveling is enough for me. I would like to travel a lot, um, four, five, six times a year. But uh, Krasnoyarsk is my hometown. All my relatives are here and I don't want to live far from them. Number 36. How often do you get sick? Mm, once or twice a year, usually in autumn or spring when the weather is changeable. Number 37. Where do you like to travel to? If you could go abroad anywhere, where would you go? Mm, it depends. Sometimes it's good to take a break or, uh, from work and go somewhere to a hot country, just to relax, enjoy the sun and the sea. But I also like exploring new places, visiting museums and uh, uh, theaters and uh, go shopping somewhere abroad, go to uh, study English with my students. And uh, actually traveling is the pill that keeps me from burning out. Number 38. What happens to your body as you get older? Hmm, it's no good. Uh, you become weaker, get tired, have wrinkles on your face, but still it's life and there is no reason to grieve for getting older. What is your favorite part about watching a child grow older? Hmm. Actually every single day is a great pleasure when you watch your child grow older and every stage has its uh, own unforgettable moments like the first words, uh, the time when your child uh, starts going to school, his first achievements, uh, first love, I don't know, everything. Number 39. Why do most people not want to get old? Hmm. Everyone wants to have the time of his life, be full of energy, but actually I think age doesn't matter. You can be young but still don't feel the taste of life. Or you can be old and when you look back on your life, uh, you just remember that your life was full of emotions and uh, different uh, events and uh, moments, so age doesn't matter. Number 40. When will your parents become grandparents? Mm, my mom became a grandparent when she was uh, 43. Number 41. Who often gets put into nursing homes? Old people who become disabled and need special care 24 hours a day or, and their children can't afford themselves to stay with their uh, old parents uh, over time or maybe some lonely people who don't have any relatives. Number 42. If you looked back on your life, what would be your biggest accomplishment? Mm, actually, it's too early to look back on my life because I still have a lot of things to do. Uh, for me, it's not about the result, it's about the process. Mm, for sure, I'm proud of my daughter and uh, the school that I have. Number 43. What do you think happens when someone dies? Who do you know that has passed away? Mm, what happens? Life stops. Uh, my grandparents uh, passed away almost five years ago and it's still uh, difficult for me to cope with it. Number 44. How does one become a widow? Mm, when your husband or wife dies, you become a widow or a widower. Number 45. What do you do to celebrate a birthday? Mm, I don't often celebrate my birthdays. Uh, I remember having a party when I turned 18 and last year I also celebrated my birthday and invited a lot of friends to a restaurant. Mm, but um, usually it's just a family dinner and nothing special. But uh, speaking about my daughter, I always try to organize a big party for her. She always comes up with an idea and we plan everything together. 
Uh, maybe it's because uh, I didn't used to have uh, birthday parties when I was a child and now I'm trying to make up for it. Number 46. Do you think it is easy or hard to make friends? Mm, I cherish uh, the people uh, from my family and appreciate uh, people who are close to me, but you know, I have to deal with so many people every day that sometimes uh, silence and solitude are my best friends. When I speak about my mom or my husband, it's more than friendship. They are people who always support me and cheer me up and help me. But I can't say that I have a boss and friend uh, who is just very close to me.